So because I'm about Italian, I'm going to butcher this, but I'm here at uh, Amicinie, uh, a nice Italian restaurant on Denman Street. Got some handmade gnocchi from a coke. I mean, the first thing I'm going to do to any gnocchi is, of course, compare it to Nona's, and this is not compare. It's really good. It's light. It's fluffy. Not as dense as some gnocchis, but... Uh, A little bit too fluffy for my life. It's good. The sauce is really good too. Enjoying some tiramisu for dessert. It is good. It's also light and fluffy. The textures are all there, the flavors there. It's not too rich. The coffee flavor is not too strong. It's kind of an all around balance. No, no, seriously. It doesn't matter which part of the world. Yeah. All around balance, I'm assuming. I don't know how easy it is to mess up there, but. But there's a job. Stay tuned for my conclusion after this. So as my computer processes the footage from the restaurant I was just at, uh, Amici Mia, and I'm sucking my finger for a little paranicia that I seem to be dealing with right now. That's what Google tells me it is. Seems like a little infection from picking my nail or something like that. So I'm just soaking in warm water. Hopefully it gets better. Well, let's talk about the restaurant because that's what I'm doing here. Um, overall, it was really good. Uh, the pasta, definitely homemade. Good gnocchi. A little bit too fluffy for my liking, but it was nice and thick. Um, it was quite nice. The pasta sauce, that could have been bought. It didn't necessarily taste homemade. I mean, who knows, but it didn't taste that way, but it was really, really good. The tiramisu was really, really good. Um, I'm personally used to store-bought tiramisu, so that was actually, uh, that, that was definitely made there. It definitely didn't have that store-bought taste, which is a good thing. Um, a lot of care and, and that type of stuff definitely went into that. Uh, overall, good place. Service a little slow at first. Um, it's, it's more getting the waiter's attention. The food was out like that. The food took no time at all. It's not a big place, so there's not that many people there. So that's why, I mean, you drop past in six, seven minutes later, it should be good if it's fresh pasta. Um, so that's a good, the food just literally flew out of the kitchen, but sometimes getting, getting that waiter staff, that was not the simplest of tasks. Um, 
was it was a good experience. Uh, the lady to the left of me in the video, uh, we had a little chat. Uh, that's why half my tiramisu was eaten by the time I started recording. She's from Germany. She's just in for something. We were having a little lovely chat. Um, so that's that's why most of my tiramisu was eaten before we even got to recording. It was a good little little time. It's right now uh, 10.30. Uh, so I'm just getting the footage ready, having a Slurpee before heading to the pub. Um, going to meet someone over at the pub just up the street. But uh, I'm definitely satisfied about that meal. It was definitely a good meal. Expensive as all hell. Uh, 21 bucks for a plate of gnocchi. Um, what is it, $7 for tiramisu. That's, that's pretty standard at most restaurants. But $21 for a plate of gnocchi. Pushing it a little bit, even though it's homemade. But... You know, when in Rome, I said, I said, when in Rome, Italian restaurant. That's that's why that was funny. I'm just gonna stop now, cause in my head I'm laughing too hard at that, at that joke, and you're obviously not. So I'm gonna push the button now.